Hi, my name is Michelle and I work for California State Parks in the beautiful Oceano Dunes District. Are you ready to learn more about monarchs? In this video, we're going to discover the life cycle of our monarch butterflies, how they change from their larval stage into orange and black butterflies iconic to Pismo State Beach. Are you guys ready to learn about their mysterious lives? Let's start from the beginning. The life cycle of the monarch butterfly begins with a female monarch laying an egg on the underside of a leaf of a very important plant called milkweed. This plant is so important to the monarch's life cycle, remember its name because we'll be talking about it again. Milkweed is the only plant our monarch butterflies lay their eggs on. Did you know one female can lay up to 500 eggs? Now she's only going to lay one egg per milkweed plant. This means that each female is going to be in search of a lot of milkweed plants to lay their eggs on. Now she's going to lay her egg on the underside of the leaf. Can you guess why she might do this? Why do you think female monarch butterflies lay their eggs on the underside of the milkweed leaf? It's to protect the egg from being seen by predators. These eggs are itty bitty in size, about the size of a head of a pin. The monarch egg will hatch in two to three days and out will come the monarch caterpillar larva. The larva is very hungry once it hatches. What do you think will be the first thing it eats? What do you think? You might be thinking it's gonna eat the leaves of the milkweed plant first, but its mouth is actually too small at this point. The larva is going to eat its eggshell first. Sort of weird, right? And it's going to eat its eggshell for two important reasons. First, for nutrients or food. The second reason is for protection. If a predator were to see the eggshell it just crawled out of, the predator would know a tasty caterpillar treat was nearby. When the larva eats its eggshell, Nothing will ever know it was there. Remember the milkweed plant we talked about earlier? Well, it's the only plant our monarch caterpillars eat. And what if I told you it was poisonous? Do you think the monarch caterpillars are affected by the milkweed's toxins? Are monarch caterpillars affected by the milkweed's toxins? They aren't. They store the toxins in their bodies making themselves not so tasty to predators. If a bird were to eat a monarch caterpillar, it would quickly learn not to do so again in the future. At this point, our caterpillar is eating a lot of milkweed leaves and growing so much. In only two weeks, monarch caterpillars will grow 2,700 times their original size. That would be the equivalent of a newborn human baby growing to the size of a great big blue whale in only two weeks time. I have a question for you. Do your clothes grow with you or do you have to buy new clothes as you grow taller? Our clothes don't grow with us and our monarch caterpillars experience the same thing. Their skin, or rather their exoskeleton, doesn't grow with them. They shed their skin, similar to how snakes shed their skin. And they're going to do this four different times as they grow during their two weeks as a caterpillar. We call this molting. Does anyone remember what our caterpillar did with its eggshell? What do you think it's going to do with the skin it sheds when it molts? It's actually going to eat the skin it molts. And for the same two reasons, it eats its eggshell for nutrients, and for protection from predators. After it's been eating and growing for about two weeks, our monarch caterpillar is ready to do something really cool, make its chrysalis. First, it finds a sturdy twig or branch, and then it spins a little silk button where it will hang down head first in the shape of a letter J. We call this its J hook. Now it's ready to molt one last time, the fifth time, to reveal its beautiful chrysalis. And here's the monarch chrysalis in all its glory. Look at that brilliant jade green color. Did you notice the gold spots dotting the top of the chrysalis? They shimmer in the sunlight. The chrysalis stage lasts about two weeks. Does anyone know what's happening inside the chrysalis? 
a process called metamorphosis. The caterpillar parts are turning into what we call a living soup and are rearranging into adult monarch butterfly parts. How cool is that? After about two weeks, the chrysalis darkens and turns clear. What do you see inside? The side of the chrysalis splits open and the adult monarch butterfly is ready to come out or eclose. Does our monarch butterfly look ready to fly? Not quite. Its wings are still damp and wrinkled from being inside the chrysalis. The monarch pumps fluid from its abdomen through the veins in its wings, which helps the wings unfold. Then it opens its wings to dry out in the sun. Does our monarch look ready to fly now? You're right, our monarch butterfly is now all set to fly. What an incredible process our monarch caterpillars go through to become beautiful soaring butterflies. Mm -hmm.